first tutorial, so wish me luck. Today I'll show you how to make a button cycle through multiple outputs. Um, there's just a note block and a redstone lamp, but it shows it as an example. Um, we press the button, it turns the first one on, and then it cycles through every button press. And then once the last one is lit, you press it again and it will reset them all. It's a modular design, so you can add as many outputs as you want. It consists of a T flip flop, and this blue part here, which allows power to go to the T flip flop. Once it's activated, it will cut the power off so it can't be triggered again. It also puts this out so that the power can go to the next T flip flop and repeat. I'll hit the button a few times so you can see what it looks like. So what happens is, this block extends so that the redstone can go through these blocks to the next switch. But at the same time, as the power is traveling, it can't go through here anymore to flop this T flip-flop. And uh, that will cycle through all the way to the end. And I'll see if I can show you what happens then. What I'll do is, I'll press this button two more times so it's fully triggered, like it's gone through the whole cycle. And then what will happen is if you press the button again, it will go to here. Through this orange circuit here, that will trigger all the T flip flops once more, resetting them. Which looks something like this. And that's pretty much it. And then it just cycles back through again. One thing you can use this for is an enchantment table. It will cycle through multiple setups. So you press the button, some bookshelves come out. And it will cycle through four. I have four set up right now. And then it will just reset them all. The setup is exactly the same, um, except instead of note blocks and redstone lamps, it goes to pistons, which control the bookshelves. And now I'll show you how to build one. We start by making four T flip flops. Make them four squares apart. Then we'll make the circuit that connects all these to the button. On the output side of the T flip flop, one block to the right and then two blocks back, you'll place a block. Um, this will be the base unit of what cuts the power to each flip flop and provides it to the next one. Just like this. Now we'll put down the redstone and the repeaters. The repeaters have to be put to the blocks or where the blocks will be. And this is where the button will be. We'll just put that here for now. We'll connect the redstone to the T flip flops, like so, and the output to this block here, which will cut them off. So this currently works, but there's no way to turn them all off, so we have to make the circuit that turns them all off. 
So we just build this, which connects to all the T flip flops. And what we will do is we'll put repeaters pointing towards them so that when the actual T flip flop turns on, it doesn't end up resetting all of them. And we connect that to here. Putting a repeater here just because it's more than 15 blocks away from where the power comes from. So we'll put a note block on the outputs of all these and then we should test it. And like I said, it's modular, so if you wanted more outputs, you could just add on a new one. Or as many as you want. And they all look the same. And that ends the tutorial. Good luck. Any questions, post it in the comments.